I'm Russ, I'm the Chief Creative Officer for Maze Theory and working on Peaky Blinders The King's Ransom. Maze Theory is a uh, VR studio, or XR studio really, and have grown from a team of you know, three or four people to about 60 actually now within the studio. Our first title, Doctor Who, The Edge of Time, which is a VR title taking you into the Doctor Who universe. And we were looking for a new game and a new genre. And we were real fans of uh, Peaky Blinders at the time. It's a kind of world we quite like to be in. And I think you don't need to be a fan of the show at all to kind of appreciate the gritty world that Stephen Knight's created. And we pitched into Stephen Knight and his team came up with those ideas, even made some suggestions as to where we should put focus on characters and locations. So as part of the authenticity uh, in creating the game, we thought it was really important that we had Killian Murphy play Tommy and Paul Anderson play Arthur because they're such key characters in the show. And I think from Killian's point of view, you know, working with him as a voice talent and actor, he knows Tommy so well, he spent 10 years playing Tommy, so he con contributed massively to the script. But I'm not Arthur. How do I know? You're anything but a traitor. And Paul Anderson as Arthur, as we all know, he's such an animated character that um, we had to capture him in mocap. Spent a few days just capturing him being Arthur, and it's quite formidable when you, you meet him in VR. He's, he's a really animated actor. If it's not the man of the hour, it's all those components put together with the fact that you're in Garrison Lane and you're meeting Arthur and he's kicking off about something and you know and then and you get to interact with him and meet him. It's just they're, they're the kind of things that bring the world to life, I think, for most people. And that's that's that, that's the kind of thing that we've you know worked very hard on in the game is to make it convincing. The story in our game is very much part of the canon of Peaky Blinders, the TV show, and we're set in 1928, which is just between seasons four and five. At this point in Peaky Blinders, Tommy Shelby has come a long way from his humble beginnings as like a veteran of World War I and is now actually a member of parliament. If you're a fan of like historical gangster drama or action adventure or virtual reality, you're, you're gonna get a lot out of this game either way. You don't have to know a lot about what's gone on in the series before. To old friends. We've got a fantastic new original soundtrack written for the game. Uh, Richard's done an amazing job on that. You've got to acknowledge that Peaky Blinders has a sound and you have to work within that. At the same time, you want to bring something original to it, but I think taking inspiration from the show is, is absolutely what we needed to do uh, and what we really wanted to do from the start. We wanted to be authentic, we wanted to be immersive, and we wanted to be, in terms of mood, hitting that Peaky Blinders vibe as closely as possible. Albert Hammer's man betrayed me. He's in there. Take care of him. Job's yours. Much like yourself, your character, Sammy Taylor, is being thrust into this world where he doesn't know exactly what's going on or how it all works. He just knows that he just needs to survive and explore and deal with everything that he's confronted with, all the drama and the excitement. Speak soon, Peaky Blinders.